You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Great. Great. Just Welcome to the great. real drama queens of Blackwell. Juliet, this is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? What the fuck happened? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room here? because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Holy shit! Ouch. How did you find you out? Let me out. Uh, sorry. why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, it is clearly Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't ah! even think you knew my <laughs> name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Uh-huh. Hmm. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. <laughs> Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Okay, so which room is fucking Victoria's room? <laughs> it's funny, because, you know, it is. Alright, hey, map. Cool, let's look at this map, maybe. Welcome to Black Hill. Okay, Victoria is in room 221. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. 221, 221, 22 freaking 1. Did I look at this? I can't remember if I looked at this. Let's look at this just in case. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Backpack, school books, da, 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 da. That's the same. Left my images, my late cat, da da da. Uh, friends who new face came in expensive shit. I need it on for my acne. I know exactly how it exfoliates. And I'll be washing your skin the second it clears up. HIV and AIDS aren't just initials on a poster. Are these serious life threatening diseases? Da, 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 da. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Don't let Big Brother watch you. An intrusive surveillance system could be installed. And members of the faculty hold a public forum. Blah, 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 blah. Come out and speak. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. TLDR. People are starting shit. And I've already forgotten the damn dorm room number. Shit. <laughs> it was 221? Black Hill. Yeah, okay. 221. Alright, this is 223, which means this one past the bathroom should be 221. Oh, no. Weird. Okay, so. Wow, she's the one with the Gandhi quote? Wow. Her room. What we got? Ouch. Well, at Thanks least for she your puts submission her to the Crops Network is not comparable to her Unlike mission me. statement. Let's not tell anybody that we did that. She's actually got a classic, classic medium, medium format, format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. <laughs> no, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge. Let's see what we got going is on here. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Jump into the 22nd century, blah, 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 order today. God damn, this bitch is loaded. Hmm? We got going on here. Yes, I get it. Enter the, Enter vortex. the vortex club. Oh, hmm. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. I like her little organizer. It's actually really freaking cute. Oh, I hate yes, her so much. Victoria has the, the best, best retina, retina screen. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom. We got. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Such so inform me I totally punked Juliet and Dana. Just now all I had to do was mention Juliet that I saw a nasty sex. Dumbass, believe me. Blah, blah, blah. Julia's this shit for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Okay, so how do I print this shit? How do I print it? How do I print it? Ooh, what's this? Bring this ad for a dollar off. 
Um, hmm. Man, he's got all kinds of exhibits all over town. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? Wow. How insecure. Who cares? What a bitch. Yeah, respects her my fucking ass. Or maybe she took it down. I'm trying to give Victoria her the benefit of the doubt. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. What else we got before we move along? Oof. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Is the Vortex list a cult by Juliet Watson? One of Blackwell's accounting and most durable, influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Reagan era. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a violent cause for... For expulsion and even violence, male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings, so the Vortex Club is originally a haven for peer pressure that every generation expresses. How ironic, then, that the revolutionary tools of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult. Or is that just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview a Vortex Club member, as Victoria says, uh, Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. Won't let me read the, any more of it. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that war. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Yep, you are indeed an 18-year-old. <laughs> Alright, let's take this shit. This isn't even recycled paper. Victoria's not... This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Wait. Photos? Let's look. Speaking of selfies. Oh god, I kinda wanna mess it up. Kinda wanna mess it up. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kinda like Victoria. I wanna mess it up. Oh, I can always reverse time. Let's find out what happens. Let's when I mess play it up. a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here and this one there. Hmm, <laughs> a pattern is emerging. All right, let's not be super fucking immature. What plug? I didn't see a plug. Huh. Alright, let's just give her the fucking email and get the hell out of this situation. Here. Juliet, read this. Of course. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. Yeah, you no are. shit you are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me. If you me, get stupid jealous, you, do my laundry. you probably Thanks, shouldn't have a You're boyfriend like a then until ninja. you deal with that. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. You're welcome. Your bra's sticking out. I just I just thought no one had pointed it out to you, so maybe Almost you'd done. want someone get to. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. But first, I'm gonna look at everything you have in your room. Hmm. Ooh, what you got? Hmm. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Life Dana being a cheerleader is seriously. very dramatic, actually. Dramatic enough that you quit pretty fucking fast if you're someone like me. <laughs> Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I sh Totally gonna look. Hmm. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. She's sitting right there. She knows I'm doing it. <laughs> There's that damn flash drive. That in a second. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Ooh. 
All right, I'm gonna just touch someone's oh, pee Max? stick. That's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Ooh. Okay, nice, well, we're Max. Just... You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. All right, we're just gonna. But I could mm -hmm. rewind and make it up to her. <clears throat> what pregnancy test? I saw nothing. <laughs> I assume Dana kept the appointment. Oh. <laughs> this is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around anybody. I'm sorry about everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know. Logan. Oh. Well, we know who the baby daddy is now. Hmm. It would Mind be a me. cool sticker without the words. <laughs> Okay. Do Dana we got? really does look stressed about all this. A maternity butt? <laughs> Good lord. Dana really was on her own. How to be a great baby mama by Dr. Bill. Yeah, that is quality literature right there. I'm so glad that you're taking advice from Dr. Bill on how to be a great baby mama. <laughs> Dana really does look stressed about all this. I can absolutely hey apply looking at everything Seriously, in real life. I'm very observant. Again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. I don't even know how she had it. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. No. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Can I keep talking to you? Now I feel too wiped out to leave. God damn it. <laughs> hey Dana. Seriously. Lar, lar, lar. Thanks again. Lar, lar, lar. All right. Uh. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over mm, that but, action. But you let or Logan. Husband. Max, you. you're smart to be a loner here. The He's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? Alright, one more time. Let's see if she'll talk about the rumor. I might have to rewind, though, on that one. I hey, wanna Dana. know. <laughs> Seriously. Dana. I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Well, Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret? Why, yes. Now? Yes, I can. Of course. I was pregnant. Yep. Was, was. being the operative term oh. there. What about the other? Deadbeat dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's, it's Logan. not Zachary. Logan. Hmm. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better <laughs> get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Nice. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. 
Okay, well, that was a good talk. I'm glad we had it. I'm just gonna go take this flash drive and, uh, Must bye. protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Wow! Could we never have that little dialogue in our head again? Thanks. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Whoa, okay, I didn't mean to be- No, 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 no! Didn't mean it, didn't mean it, didn't- Fuck. <laughs> Do I need to retake the flash drive? Nope, I still have the flash drive. Hey, Dana. Oh, I Seriously. lost the talking. All right, let's do the Dana. rumor talk. What? Nobody important. It's like a la, 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 la. You're pregnant. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. Yeah, me neither. But I did. Anyway. Oh. What about the other? That be dad. You can catch. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Thanks. Anyway, you're... All right, good talk. I want to see what happens if I use the flash drive. I want to see what's on the Max folder. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the Party Buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Ah, uh, dude. Okay, I mean, yeah, uh, self-respect. <clears throat> Alright, let's GTFO. <laughs> Wait! I'm on my way! As soon as I find my way fuck back... This shit. Okay. Ow! That hurt! What the Damn. fuck? I better rewind. Why do I need to rewind? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. You're hipster, hip. Shit. Ow! That okay. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Maybe you should move. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Whoops. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Uh, I broke the fucking. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. No problem. Continue reading your chick flick book. Chick book. Chick lit. There we go. That's that's what she called it. Whoa. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo of this shit. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Can I interview now? Intervene now? Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. I will intervene. Man, in a I moment. I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. But it said it didn't affect my inventory. So I should have both. So don't think I'm blind. I s All right, well, let's intervene, I guess. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. I, I give me, a fuck. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey. Hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. You are it most welcome. I have a photo, also. Maybe. I don't know. I felt I like an I everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. 
I don't give a fuck. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Oh. Crap, so I don't get to keep it? Oh well. Whatever. Fight the power! You can't see it, but my fist is in the air. <laughs> Squirrel! All right, there's Warren. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Oh no, what's wrong? Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. <sighs> Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Yeah, I was about to say it's better she found out that Victoria didn't. won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. Oh yeah, hilarious. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Well, maybe I made uh, a gal pal friend finally for once, perhaps. Come on over here, please. Dude, Warren, your voice needs to like drop ever. <laughs> and there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. The friend zone no so hard. <laughs> Check out my new oh. wheels. Cool. What the Very fuck old school. is that? 1978 to be exact. Now is it a Pinto? There's one in it Newburgh looks like it's a Pinto. You're, You're gonna die. <laughs> but then so am I. You okay? You're gonna die. It's been one strange You're gonna get in one day. rear ending. And you're gonna I die. Bet. <laughs> I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I should have taken a photo of that. Nah. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known <laughs> that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Really? You draw? <laughs> you can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. Hmm. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get fun. a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? You mean the booty movie? <laughs> uh, let's not lie. No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. What the hell is with you and Cannibal Holocaust? No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. I probably would laugh so my you're ass sensitive. off too. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. I'm just wondering what that... No, I was impressed there. you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Oh God. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was <laughs> lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. An actual you movie? Distracted. You don't say. Sure, let's, I need let's, to talk to can... somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Oh, he's Dr. not gonna Warren fucking believe me. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you Warren any meds. Graham. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I should not be telling him this. I mean, not gonna believe life changing. Me. <sighs> Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? He's gonna shoot me. I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? 
I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. Oh, you best fucking tell me what you stupid told ass principal, principal now. Answer me, bitch. Rude. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. I don't give a fuck you don't have what to you worry own. About huh? me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. <laughs> worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. You need to step, step the back, fuck back, Nathan Prescott. Nathan Prescott. Oh, You're telling me what to do? Get away fuck from yes, I you. am. Oh, Warren, hey, you incompetent. <laughs> Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom. No. <gasps> I almost got hit by a car. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, oh, no, I got this. <laughs> Ah. Ben, Max. No, don't Get fucking your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. No, go back and beat his ass. Like <laughs> Man, uh. Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. I had no idea you were Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I had no I idea who you were. Glad to see but you. I saved your life earlier, so you're fucking oh, welcome. Hey, thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? <sighs> Hopefully nothing after today. So... How do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Nope. Pretty no, great, it actually. felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah. Must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy uh. to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'll say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. Well, your hair is fucking blue and you're covered in tattoos now. That's usually a you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. As soon as I figured out how. You excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. As I was saying. Having blue hair, piercings, and tattoos, usually a pretty good sign of some kind of abuse. Mental, physical, generally the way things go. Oh okay. no. Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard Super that one cereal. in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific step tiny douche. tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Oh, that's nice. Welcome home, Max. Your car looks like it belongs to a serial killer. Like, seriously. <laughs> Alright, so there's one more place for me to go to before I want to finish this up, so I'm guessing this is the one more place. Uh, my ability to tell the backstory of characters Come is because in, I'm very be detail-oriented and observant, and nice. people shit. aren't very complicated. Hmm. Once you know a couple of people, you pretty much know everybody. <laughs> Everybody's pretty much carbon copies of everybody else. Just tweak and twist. Take a little piece from this person here, and a little piece from that person there, and poof, you got a new person. <laughs> 
My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of step that. Step Fuhrer. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Up. Uh, yep. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Huh. Miss you, wish you were here, Rach. Oh, it does match her. I didn't notice that part. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. We had such a blast drawing these together. Chloe and Max, she's a killer. Power Girls, Freedom Eagle, and Super Kitty. Wow, Black Hole Danger, Cosmic Snail. I didn't know she kept all that shit. So many post-its. This looks like a laundry bag. Well, let's search her laundry bag, shall we? And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Old cardboard boxes. We are going to search through these old cardboard boxes. <gasps> Whoa! Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Okay. Not doing that. <laughs> oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Let's go through her under totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. That height chart. <laughs> Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. That is gone. Shit. Life, shit, fuck it all, suck it. Wonder if dad left or died. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. And a lot of alcohol. Which, since she's probably the same age as you, is illegal. Well, she's also smoking pot. Which is also illegal. Wait, Oregon. Yes, is illegal. <laughs> Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. What else we got in here? Your t TV's hey, as much TV of a piece of shit as mine, huh? <coughs> Pictures! Look at that. Uh, Chloe and her dad were so close. Is that a bunny? Look like a bunny. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Is that the gorillas? I don't like the gorillas. What happens if I turn this on? House catches on fire. Oh, nice. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Trash can? Chloe's trash overfloweth. I wouldn't say it overfloweth. <laughs> Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay Damn. her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Uh, you're causing obstruction of the roadway. Your pedestrians don't park in this area again. La la la, disabled bay. La la la, cross solid white line. Do not cross solid white line. Parking, la la la, date of alleged. Didn't really tell you much about it though. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. That's weird. Cowards! Yay! Ooh, what's this? Makes the bed fall. Hey, music! It's a mixtape! And I just stole it! Nice. Hey, give me that! Sorry! I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. She your replacement BFF. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I yeah, put them all over I Blackwell. I put them up. Yeah. <laughs> she was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, 
I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I don't want to be petty. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfoot and into Los Angeles. I have a feeling you guys were a lot more than just friends, but okay. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. <laughs> I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. So you think she left? How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something wow. happened to her. I believe Patty? you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Maybe like teacher? everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Yeah, sure. You just keep self-medicating, I guess. I will go with this mixtape.